Okay, so I had just booted up the Lazy Noob Pack to start doing some recording and I got the message that an update is available. So I guess we're recording how to update your Lazy Noob Pack now. Now normally I would just have a little caution. Um, let's open it in the browser. Let's have a look at what it says on the forums. Now, what I would suggest to do is go to the back page. Let's find out where the release is mentioned. Here it is. Okay. Let's just check the next page and see if there is any issues. There's nothing that says that sort of has a red flag on it that says, don't use this pack. It's not stable. So let's get to downloading it. Okay, so that's downloaded. And what I have here is my downloads folder where the, uh, the new LMP is downloaded to and my Dwarf Fortress folder, which I've called Dwarfs and it's on my C drive. You may have called it something else and it could be anywhere else. That doesn't really matter. The only thing you never need, you never want to change is the actual Dwarf Fortress folder names themselves. So let's start off by extracting this. Now we don't want to extract it straight into the Dwarf Fortress folder. I'm going to extract it here because that's as good a place as any. And the reason why I'm not just overwriting things is because I've made some modifications to the old LMP. I downloaded the SoundSense pack and I don't want to have to download that again. And then I've removed some files from the SoundSense pack. So to help me with that, I am going to rename this folder. I'm going to call it the old LMP. Now we can take across the new Dwarf Fortress folder. No problem with that. And let's just make ourselves a little space. Uh, we can get rid of the old executable. We can bring in the new executable. Um, and then we want to bring over the, oops, we want to bring over the new LMP as well. Right, so we're now finished with, uh, with that. And we want to open up the old LMP folder. Actually, it would be easier if we did that in a new window. Okay, so if we have a look at SoundSense in old LMP, and let's have a look at SoundSense in the new LMP, so that's uh, in the utilities pack. So we're all looking fairly straight there, but if we go to packs, yeah. As you can see, there's no sounds or very few sounds. And I bet if we look in the default for the new one, yeah, native flute is back. So we don't want that. And the easiest way to deal with it is to go back to the utilities level. And we'll just take the new sound sense away and we'll put the old sound sense back in. And that will work just fine. Okay, now let's get rid of those two. We'll just delete them to get them out of the way. We're probably finished with that. Let's boot up Dwarf Fortress. Aha, so it recognizes that it's a new thing and it says you've got three Dwarf Fortress folders. Which one should I be looking at? Uh, we want you to look at the newest version of Dwarf Fortress. And because it recognizes that we ha we're using a new one, it's asking us, do we want to import anything from the older packs? And yes, we do. Now for me, I particularly want to um, bring across some games that I, some saves that I had stored under 4701. So we'll say, yep, yeah, bring, bring those across. That'd be good. Now, when you are updating saves from an older version of Dwarf Fortress to a newer version of Dwarf Fortress, there's no guarantee that they're going to be compatible. I know that in this case, the difference between version 4701 and 4703 is just bug fixes and they are compatible. But if the, if the number has changed like from 044 to 047, they are not going to be compatible. But good, it's moved those across. 
and we are good to go.